we are ready to wrap up this challenge and it has been a lot of fun. We have prepped breakfast, snacks, protein, dinners. We've just gotten a lot of stuff done so far and now we're working on dessert. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite, very, very simple desserts today. Um, this is a THM FP friendly dessert and then I'm going to show you some options from the store just in case you don't have time to prep. With every single prep day that we're having this week, we want to make sure that you also have those backups from the store so that if you don't have time to make something, you still have something on plan that you can enjoy. The goal in my six week boot camps is to make Trim Healthy Mama your default go to easiest option at all times. This is a small part of that. So we're making the My Montana Kitchen chocolate peanut butter recipe. It's an all time favorite. It's so easy. And I'm just going to show you really quickly how we do this. So I took about three minutes to measure out the ingredients and then we just mix them together. So we've got peanut flour. We want the defatted peanut flour. Again, we don't want to use PB2. Cocoa powder, salt, gentle sweet. I use the xylitol free gentle sweet. I lost, left some salt in the container there, so I dumped that in. And I just give this a gentle stir. I'll post a link to this recipe in the comments so that you can see how easy it is and get the actual measurements for yourself. Okay, once we've got that stirred together a little bit, I'll add in the unsweetened almond milk. It's a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk and some vanilla. So I will just mix this all really well, but just stir this together. It truly, to me, it's so soft and kind of creamy. It is like a peanutty version of Nutella. Um, now, I have tried this with other things like hazelnut flour and almond flour and did not get the same results. The peanut flour is really the best texture for this, but it's so good and so creamy. You do have to put a little bit of muscle into it when you're getting to the point where it's almost done. And I will show you what it looks like in just a second here. Okay, this isn't quite mixed together, but I'll show you anyway what it looks like. It's just a perfect like kind of like a Nutella thing, but with peanut flour. Now this is an FP. So I love to make this and just keep it in the fridge in a jar. And I like to eat it with berries. So this is my go-to FP dessert, especially for closing a meal on THM. If you just need something sweet, this is an excellent option. I put some ideas in the packet for you, but I love making THM Twixter bars. If I have a little more time, I love making the butterfly wings cake. There are a lot of amazing desserts out there. There are some blondie bars from alldayidreamaboutfood.com that I love to make. I love her cranberry bliss bars. There are tons of things that you can find that are amazing and on plan that you can make. And I recommend making a dessert once a week, even if it's something like this that just takes a few minutes. But I also recommend stocking up on some things at home that you can just grab on a busy night. So I'll show you some of my favorites. First, and this is in no particular order, I don't want any of my desserts to feel left out or hurt if they're not shown first, just so you know. So this is Rebel Ice Cream. This is my very favorite flavor, the triple chocolate. Um, I always stick to one serving of this, but I love this. It's lactose free. It's so good. It's very good. And they have some dairy free options. I don't think the triple chocolate is dairy free. It's not. I don't think they have a dairy free option of this, but they do have some. These are so good. The ingredients to me are better than Halo Top by far. And there is not added sugar in this like there is in Halo Top. So I've had clients come to me with stubborn weight and they're like, you know, I'm going through food journals and I say, okay, well you, you know, you're eating a good amount of Halo Top, what's going on? And it turns out Halo Top is their go-to dessert, but it has sugar in it and they're experiencing cravings and they're having a hard time. So sometimes when we cut out the Halo Top, we see a little bit better results. And that's why I like Rebel Ice Cream instead. Okay, my next, not in order, of course, Lily's Chocolate. I had a Lily's Chocolate bag, but I misplaced it. So this is in my zip bag, but these are on plan. Chocolate chips, you do wanna check all the Lily's products and make sure that they're on plan because some of them are a little different, but Lily's Chocolate is a great one to buy at the store. These, that's it, organic dark chocolate fig truffles. 
These are delicious. My mamas who are working through some stubborn weight issues, we don't really eat these, but for people looking to stay on plan and just wanting a special treat, these can work in an E setting. One serving is three truffles. The concern with things like this, is that people will go nuts with them and you have to be careful. First of all, these do have one gram of added fat. So if you're adding a teaspoon of butter to an E, let's say you have an E of baked chicken breast or air fried chicken breast and there's no added fat, and then you get three quarters of a cup of brown rice and you've got some you know, steamed veggies on the side and you add a teaspoon of butter to your brown rice, it would be too much to add these with the fat. So you have to be careful and count this towards your fat in an E, but this is a really yummy dessert. I use this sparingly, don't use these often, um, but they're really good for, and it's good to have an E option because this is S, this is S, this is an FP, but you still gotta watch out for, for those added fats. Then, this is a new find. I just found this simple truth. It is dark chocolate mint um, chocolate. And it's really, I have, I think it looks pretty good. So if you like mint and you like chocolate, this is sweetened with erythritol and monk fruit. So this is, this might be something you want to check out. It has natural mint flavors in it. it. It, I might give this a try. There are other things you can get at the store too. If you're in boot camp with me, you're getting that giant list of shelf stable snack ideas. And we have tons of store-bought snack ideas, tons of things. So you're covered no matter what but I would encourage you to take a few minutes, make an FP dessert, make something light. And just a quick reminder, with any of these, any dessert, I'm always adding protein unless I have it immediately after dinner. If I'm eating it immediately after dinner, I count it towards the numbers for that dinner. So like I said, if I'm having an E dinner and then having three of these for dessert and that have one gram of fat total, I'm gonna make sure I don't go over. If I'm not having this immediately after dinner, I will wait three hours and have it with protein. With things like this, with things like this, you know, if we have just a couple after an S dinner to close the meal, that's a really good thing to do, or like the peanut butter chocolate spread, that's great to close the meal. Just have a small amount, eat something sweet, and then close your kitchen for the night. That's one great way to do it. But if you need to eat before bed, which some people do, Waiting three hours and adding protein is a great option too. So thank you so much for joining me for this challenge. Boot camp starts Monday. I know a lot of you are signed up and I'm really excited to get going. If you would like to start tracking your food journals now, it's great practice because in boot camp I'll be checking your food journal every day and letting you know what I see that can be adjusted or changed so that you get the best results. And we're gonna be walking you through step-by-step -step staying on plan 100% of the time. So it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait to see you there.